Hey guys, so usually I don't do a uh, unboxing thing, but I thought it would be appropriate considering what this is. The audio is going to sound a little weird, mainly because I'm underneath my camera right now. This is the only way I can set it up. Anyways, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I've waited so long for this. I am so happy to finally have it. This is the Blu-ray Special Collector's Signature Edition of the Iron Giant. To tell you how much I love this movie, I still have my old, oopsie, sorry there, I still have my old VHS, even though it's in Seen Better Days. I have been trying to look for a print of this for the longest time. Either way, so this is apparently uh, ver uh, one 5, 000, number 5,433 of 15,000, which is a little bit worrying because I don't know if you can see it here, but you'll see a little bit of crunch here. This is because the Amazon guy dropped it off at my friend's house who lives in the States, and he said he left it on the porch, but he actually left it behind the house. Ergo, this thing was now in its package in the rain for three days. So, I'm a little bit upset about that. I'll see what I do. Either way, let's open this up. I really wanted to... Uh... <laughs> I've been waiting for this ever since I watched the re-release of it, uh, this film, er, I think it was last year. If you want a review, link to my review right here. That was an awesome movie to watch. Alright, so... Okay, so let's see, let's look at the damage here. Okay, that's not... Okay, I'm, I'm not as niffed anymore. Yeah, the paper's really soaked on the top here. But I'm not so much uh, angry, mainly because this is just the thing that tells you what's in it. Like, it just tells you, like, the... It just kind of gives you a brief summary of what's in the box. It's kind of like what you got with the Dark Knight trilogy thing. You had that thing on the back, and if you were really dedicated, you kept it. Otherwise, most people got rid of it. So I'm not too upset about that. So, this is very... Oh, that's awesome! Oh, let's get that part off there. There's the screw of the giant, the his little chin screw. Okay, so let's open it up. So, oh, that's great. Look at this. This is, I assume, this will either be the DVD holder or the art book. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Concept art. Ooh, yeah, there's a little bit of moisture in this book. Thankfully, the pages aren't ruined. But that's what he originally looked like. That's the original idea. And then there's here the concept art. Oh, here's the actors. Still always find it funny that Harry Connick Jr. is in this. Because, you know, everyone remembers him as Will Smith's buddy from Independence Day who died. And then this, too. Always find that funny. This is still her highest ranked movie. And there's more concept art. Ooh, that's kind of a really bad digital print of this, but otherwise that's okay. Oh yeah, this is a great scene. Oh, I love it how there's little quips, little things in here. Ooh, yeah, some of these pages got a little bit... Is this a page here? Nope. And a little damage. I'm assuming this is from the rain. Oh, this is pretty cool. Final resolve for good or bad. Oh, that's sweet. So that's a good little art book. And let's put that. Let's put that over. Oops. Oh, oh what's that? Well, this was inside. Wherever books are sold. Oh, it's just a little about the art. Oh yeah, he's gonna be in here somewhere. So put this over here. And this is a, oh this is awesome, this is a, kind of like a thank you letter from Brad Bird. That's pretty sweet. Fortunately, time and word of mouth have been kind to the Iron Giant. People who see it seem to urge others to do the same, and the film's reputation has grown with every passing year. To all who have seen the Iron Giant, who have recommended it to others, and to those who are seeing it for the first time, this blue is for you. Oh, man. Waiting to see what Brad Burgess does next, because Tomorrowland was, eh, I don't know, I didn't really enjoy it. Ooh, there it is. Now, most of you probably have this already, for those of you who really care. I'm 
absolutely ecstatic for two reasons. One, because this is finally this movie on Blu-ray quality. And two, because it's got a documentary about how the film was made and how it wound up being a box office bomb. I actually like that they talked about it. They showed a preview for it when I saw it at uh, the re-release, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, and this is it. This is the little guy. Wow, he's really tiny. Let's see. Oh, he's got a little plateau. Oh, sweet. I finally have it. I finally have a little iron giant. Let's see. Or Superman. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is cool. Oh. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. There we go. And see. Ooh, this is a. Oh! Oh, these are the prints. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, this is on Mondo. You see this on Mondo all the time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. Woo, yeah, that's even cooler. Oh, sweet. Love a Hogarth in the middle here. Oh, those are awesome prints. Put those there. Let's see if there's anything else underneath, or is that the bottom? Yep, that's it. All right, guys. So that's it. Uh, eight foot tall. Oh shoot! Holy crap! Eight foot tall? I didn't read that properly the first time. Jesus, that's taller than me. How would you fit in this house? Anyway, guys, that is the. Iron Giant Special Edition, thank you for watching me unwrap it, uh, hopefully this lighting was okay, and my audio doesn't sound too weird, but I'm really happy to have this, I've waited ever since it was able to be pre-ordered, and I'm very happy to have it, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, this kind of sucks, but like I said, this is just the stuff that goes on the back that you never really care about, so, anyways, that is the Iron Giant, the super special awesome edition, if you didn't already pre-order it, I would definitely look into it because, like I said, there's only 15,000 of these. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tell me if you thought this was okay. I, this is the first time I've ever done an unboxing, so. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys later.